What's up guys? My name is Oscar Delgado, Teach.fm consultant. First off, congratulations on getting this far. You're one step closer to landing your dream job. In this video, we're going to discuss the top five ESL interview questions and how to ace them. In particular towards an interview for China, seen as they're the most popular uh, destination. All right, uh, let's jump in. Question number one, tell me about yourself. It's best not to talk about your pets, um, your hobbies, or your favorite dish. Instead, use this uh, to formally introduce yourself, your hometown, academic record, and professional record. I will use my experience. Hi, my name is Oscar Delgado. Uh, I am from Los Angeles, California, and I went to the University of Southern California. I graduated in 2012 and in 2013, I received my TEFL, my TEFL certificate from TEFL Worldwide Prague. Uh, and I have been teaching English ever since. I taught for four years in Europe and currently one year in China. Now, keep in mind that this answer is very similar to the one minute video self introduction. Uh, so to get more information on that, you can click on the link in the description to find out more. Question number two, why do you want to teach English? This is a great opportunity to express your passion for teaching and the positive effect you can have on people's lives. Uh, so for example, you can say, I absolutely love teaching. It's my passion to teach. But above all, I love seeing the progress in students' lives. For example, um, you know, uh, being uh, able to see a student change from day one to the very end of the semester is a rewarding experience for me. It's absolutely fascinating for me. And, and so um, I would love to bring this passion and energy to your school. Question number three, why do you want to come to China? Uh, this is perhaps uh, one of the most important questions because the employer wants to know whether or not you're invested in China as opposed to just uh, interested in the salary and benefits package. Um, so uh, a great response is to perhaps you can say, I am intrigued by Chinese culture, history, and above all food. I believe that China is an immense country filled with tradition and a contemporary art scene. Uh, and I would love to explore and immerse myself in Chinese culture. Um, so, you know, again, uh, being in China is, is just um, an absolutely wonderful opportunity that I will not take for granted. Question number four, how would you manage a disruptive student? Uh, in most cases, a disruptive student is just seeking attention. Uh, so you could say, I would give uh, the student a specific task during the lesson. For example, uh, can you help me organize these tables? Can you help me move these chairs? Or perhaps can you clean the window? Um, you know, I, from my experience, I have found that uh, disruptive children just have extra energy that they need to exercise. Uh, however, if the problem continued, I would notify a school official after the lesson. Um, but in any case, I would never raise my voice. Um, I would never lose my patience. Instead, uh, I would remain calm at all times. And lastly, question number five, what age group do you feel most comfortable teaching? Now, uh, whether you prefer teaching uh, teenagers as opposed to adults or children, uh, we believe that a more attractive answer is to show your flexibility. For example, you could say, I prefer to teach teenagers, however, I am open to teaching all age groups. Um, I believe that all age groups bring their own distinct challenges. However, I am more than ready and willing uh, to succeed at your school. 
Um, so I, I'm more than ready and willing to take on any challenge uh, at your school. Thank you very much.